Now in schools, the students get taught about analogies between voltage and current and resistance um, with everyday things. And one of the popular things is we've got water uh, flowing through a pipe and that's the analogy for electrical current. So I'm just going to explore that analogy a bit with this uh, setup here. So we've got water in this column and that is representing um, charge. And so when we have water flowing through a pipe, then that of course represents the charge moving through a wire, which is electrical current. But firstly, the voltage. So we've got the water here. Now you know from mechanics that uh, something up high has got a gravitational potential energy. And we're gonna talk about the analogy between that and electrical potential energy. So the water up the top of the pipe is at a high, higher gravitational potential. The water down the bottom is at low potential. And the difference between the two is what in fact is going to uh, supply the water pressure that will make water flow through the pipe. So just to quickly show you what I mean, when we have the end of the pipe down low and I unclip it, then we're gonna have current flowing out, but if I lift the pipe up very high, if I can do this, now the end of the pipe is in fact at almost exactly the same height as the top of the water, so there's no potential difference between the top of the water and this end of the water, and when there's no potential difference, no current will flow. Now, the amount of current will, that will flow will be decided by the potential difference, which is the voltage, and it's also decided by how constricted the pipe is, whether it's a wide open pipe that would allow a lot of water through it, or whether it's constricted so that even with a high potential difference, only a tiny bit of current would flow. And I'll try to show that here with just a little bit of current even though the potential difference is quite high and the amount of constriction in the pipe of course is what is the uh, the analogy to that is the resistance in the circuit so typically in a circuit you have a fixed potential difference like you have from your power point 240 volts of potential difference then you connect it to a circuit that has a particular resistance and that will decide how much current will flow through your appliance.